the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge menu. In here, locate Insert. By default, when Insert is selected, the target will be set to a single edge loop. With this selected, when hovering over an edge and clicking and dragging, you can insert edge loops on your model. After you have an edge inserted, you can also delete this edge loop. To delete, just hold Alt and then click on the edge loop and that edge loop will be removed. When working on areas of your model that may consist of elongated polygons, like these two areas here, and you insert an edge, if you hold down Shift, you can attempt to reframe that actual edge to fit closer to the surrounding geometry. So you can see if I release Shift, I'm getting an edge that's inserted like so. And then if I hold Shift, I'm able to get a straight edge to correspond next to this other edge on the side here. Now, hovering over an edge again and pressing spacebar, select the target multiple edge loops. Now, the multiple edge loops targets will have more modifiers down here compared to the actual single edge loop. Now, these options here will allow you to create another wide range of variations across your model. To start off first, let's just have this set to interactive resolution, specified elevation of zero, spline, per polygon normal, and alternate polygroup. With this option selected, if I click on an actual edge here, it will insert an edge in the middle of that poly. By scrolling up and down with your pen or your mouse, you increase the amount of edge loops that are created along that surface. So this will allow you to come through and generate different results on your model. Now, if you want to specifically set a desired resolution of those actual edge loops, so if you want to add an edge loop right in the middle of that selected poly loop, just come over here to the specified resolution slider and just type a value in. So if I type in one, and now I come back to my model and just click it's going to insert an edge loop directly in the middle of that polygon. So with this process, you can come through and fully divide meshes evenly around your model. Another option with the actual insert edge loops is the ability to actually have interactive elevation. So if I set my interactive resolution back over here and then I turn on interactive elevation, if I click on an edge of my model and drag out horizontally, you'll notice that the model will deform out. Then using a vertical motion, I can add different edge loops to there and I can generate these kind of bending beveled effects. So this is handy when generating smooth surfaces on your model. Now you have a few more options in the actual insert multi-edge loop setting here. These values right here will determine what kind of surface is getting generated when using this interactive elevation. So right there I had spline selected. If I change this to flat and now click on that edge loop again, you'll start getting a flat surface created along your model. Other options down at the bottom here will determine how the actual spline elevation is going to be generated. So by default it's per polygon normal. If I change it to click normal and then apply the edge loop here, you'll see it's going to apply the elevation of those inserted edge loops based on that polygon's normal. Finally, you also have the option to determine how the polygroups will be generated across the edge loops. By default, it's set to alternating polygroup. So if I click, you'll see it's giving me an alternating polygroup across those created edge loops. Now, if I change this to same polygroup and apply it to the same surface, you'll notice that that area is going to get one polygroup across that whole area. So using this alternate polygroup, you can use this along with, say, a Q-Mesh action to actually come in and create interesting results on your model. So as you're using the Z Modeler brush, you can use this Insert Edge actions to come through and apply edges on your model to continue modifying the mesh as you work.